What is going on everybody? My name is JT. We are back with another video and it's a tutorial on how to start a Minecraft server. Now, this this method has been out for quite a while now, probably like a good three, four years and just, I guess nobody heard about it. So I'm gonna let you guys know now. Um, okay. There's, there's, there's a website called adenos.org. Um, I'll put the link in the description for you to check it out. This allows you to start any Minecraft server for free. Like, <laughs> it states it right here. Minecraft server is free forever. All right. Now I'm gonna tell you how to start. You're gonna load up to this. Um, you're gonna load up to this website. You're gonna press play. When you press, oh, whoops. Okay. When you press play, you're gonna, you're gonna end, you're gonna end up right in this web you're gonna end up right in this page once you end up in this page you're gonna on the right it says sign up obviously um what you want to do is you want to put your email and domain like okay i'll put an example for you i'll literally put example for you uh you're gonna put that uh, gmail.com you you can put whatever username you want um You gonna put you can put any username you want. You could do uh, any password. It's up to you. So I will create one with you, so it will it will be easy process. Now you do all this. You gotta press. You gotta do that. Um, you gotta do that capture just in case. Uh, if you say you're not a robot, whatever, whatever. You click. You, you click that box and it checks off for you. Now you press sign up. You are he okay guys you are here when you're here you get to modify any options you want so this I'm gonna show you for example first I'm gonna log into my because my is already set up okay now that we're here you should it should give you an IP it's not your real IP but it should give you an IP that says uh, I'll use my name. It'll say jbreeze 821adenosme For example, uh, if you have um, if you have a name called Mike123, it's gonna say mike 123adenosme You're gonna use that to type in to put in for your server when you're on Minecraft. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, like this is basically the status about your server. Like it gives you an IP address, it gives you a version, it gives you status. Like literally, if it's online or not. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can start the server from here. You can download a world. You can upload a world yourself. You could do a backup that you had if you lost the world for some reason, or you could reinstall if any if any bugs happen to your uh, server. So we're gonna start with something simple. Here are the options for where you want to modify your server. For example, you want you can have as many subs as you want. For example, I can have 100 people in my server, but for the case of this video, I'm only gonna do one. I mean, I can have two, three. Dan I could damn near have like a thousand, ten thousand people on my server, but it depends. It, de it really depends. It, it depends on your RAM because if you have a lot of people on your server, your server is gonna lag like heck. If I recommend, depending on how much RAM you got, for example, I got like I got eight gigabytes, eight gigabytes of RAM for this MacBook, so I'm able to run like at least 100 people on this server. If I go, if I at least exceed 150, it's gonna lag. I mean, if I go like 120, 130, I mean, it's not gonna lag that much, but it's, but it's gonna lag. So, yeah, sorry for my, sorry guys, my phone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna just leave that for one. I'm gonna leave that on one for the case of this video. Whitelist means that um, shoot, <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft in a minute. Uh, whitelist means people who are who are allowed to um come to the server. And people who are not allowed to come to server. So if I add, if I put yes on it, that means that whoever, whoever I put whitelist and then I put their name, that means they are allowed to join my server. But if I don't put your name on the whitelist, you can't join. That's why I recommend you having it no, unless you're trying to have it as a private server. Um. Okay. Online mode premium. Now they do have cracked. Now the thing is though that the thing is though is that for cracked, you have to download a cracked version of Minecraft, which means you have to pirate the game. You got to, you can go on um, mineshaft.com or whatever, and then you can download the cracked version from there. It's gonna it's gonna basically be the same thing as regular Minecraft, only that you're only allowed to play cracked servers and all that. So yeah, 
Um, but if you have if you have bought the game like leg legitimately, then you buy then you then, then you can leave that at premium. Now for game mode, you already know you can switch to survival, creative, or adventure. Um, oh, if you guys have questions about if it does affect whatever you do here affects um the Minecraft server when it's already on. Um, I think only the com not I think muffle the the commands are the only things that work during while the server is on. So. For example, if the server is on and I'm not OP, I could just do slash OP JT underscore gaming YT, and then it will send it will send the command to who the server, and then it will work. Next, you got your um, message of the day. You can put any message you want. I just leave it like this, just just for the heck of it. I'm like whatever. Um, they you can you can change your icon. I have my own my my YouTube icon here. So if you guys want to change it to any um, icon you want, you can do that. Share call. Um, now we're done with the left side. On the right side, you have you have like your modifications for the world. Basically, you get to change the difficulty, PvP, command blocks, and explain. Difficulty, you get to change it to peaceful, easy, normal, hard. You already know what the deal is. I don't know if you're able to change it to hardcore, but if they do, but if they do have the um, if they do have the setting to change to hardcore, do so because I don't see it. Um, PvP, you already know, player versus players. If you want to fight, keep yes. If you don't, just keep no. Command blocks, you're allowed to place it while you're in creative mode. Um, when you click it, you can type in whatever command, and you can put some type of redstone uh, redstone device so you can activate the command without having to go into the command box or whatever. Um, for flying, I don't know how that works, so I'm just going gonna, gonna to leave it as is. I mean, it don't really matter if you have to it disabled. For animals, keep animals on if you want to. Um, if you want to do survival, uh, monsters, keep it on if you want. If you want your game to be, um, on, you know, if you have no survival and you want to keep monsters on, you know, you want to have a good experience on how survival works, you can keep that on. If you don't, if you want to play in a peaceful world, then you can just disable that. Um, so what we're doing on the right side, I already told you about how the command works. Um, oh wait, my fault. If you press console, it's gonna load up a console for you about what's going on right now nothing's on my nothing's on my console because my server isn't up it's literally offline so i will show you an example when it's on log it will basically tell you like what's going on in the server but like i said it's off so it's not going to show anything all right moving on to versions now on versions you have all minecraft versions that come in that are out like you know since a while from 1.1.0 1 .1 to 1.11.2 now, I'm gonna just do 1.11.2 for this video. If you want to, if you want to play around with um the other versions of this uh, Minecraft server of this um Minecraft server, then you can do so. Now, yeah, that's it for vanilla. You already know how it works. Snapshot, you can do whatever snapshot available. Whatever snapshot is available, you have to make sure that's on your Minecraft launcher before you can launch it. Because if you launch on a different server and then you try to play on that server, it's going to say either the server is outdated or you have to update the server, something like that. It, it will give you an error. It's not going to it's not going to let you go through. That's snapshot. Um, for plugins, you can do spigot or bucket. For me, I like bucket. I mean, it don't matter if you do spigot, but bucket has more versions than spigot. That's why I like it. So you can do whatever, you can do whatever. This is basically mods, obviously. Um, you can find mods when you go to mods.com, or mods.com, let me stop. If you find mods on Google, and then it'll give you to the mods, for example, Lucky Blocks, if you wanna have a Lucky Block server. Um, all you gotta do is have your own plugins bucket or spigot on, and then you're good. Okay. Now about mod packs, uh, I forgot what ATL stood for, but I played it before. I mean, Depends on how much how how depends on how your computer could run, cause all of these um, mod packs right here from ATL takes a lot for you to run. So for my computer, I can't run any of this. That's why I'm saying. That's why I be saying to myself, I'm gonna wait till I get a better, better computer. Why am I telling you my dreams? Um. Okay. So yeah, if you have a good, if you have a um, if you have a um, a good computer, you can rock out with these um mod packs. So that's ATL. Uh, FTB, like I said, you need a good computer for you to run it. Otherwise, you're going to be lagging like heck by um, uh, frames per second. Technic Launcher, I could run. There's just a few of them I can't run. Like Hexit, uh, yeah. Hexit, 
and actually Hexen, that's it. Cause Hexen had a lot of mods and anything else around here. So you can run anything else. You can run anything here if you want. If you want to play around with the settings and all that. That's Technic Launcher. Um, any other mod, any other mods you wanna, any other mod packs you want is right here for you. But it's not gonna give me an option to do so. So that's all you. For mods. I can't tell you, I don't know how it's gonna work because I tried Lucky Blocks and that didn't work. But my guess is that if you're gonna add a mod, you gotta look at the version and you gotta look at what Minecraft version is played on before you before you launch, before you install it to your server. Because if you just play, if you just install the mod and you go on the server, it's gonna give you never saying that there's a mod missing to your server. There's a mod that you there's a mod that you installed on your server, but you're missing it from your own um, Forge mod loader. So you can't play it. Um, yeah, and this is Minecraft PE servers, I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing that you can install this, you can play, uh, you can do anything you want here. I don't know how it works, I don't have Minecraft Pocket Edition for a bike right now, but best believe I played it before. Alright, now we're down to manage. So, whitelist, I told, you, I told you before, but this time it's actually where you enter the names. For example, uh... Um, if I wanted, if I was not, if I was on a, if I, if I was not on the whitelist, I could just put my name, JT underscore gaming, YT, and then press that plus button, and then it'll say JT underscore gaming YT was added. Now, if you want to remove someone from the whitelist, which is basically re removing their access from the game, from the server, then you press the X button right here. It'll say JT underscore gaming YT was removed. Now, for OPs. I'm an admin of the server, so I'm supposed to be so I'm supposed to be OP automatically. So you have to um, enter your name, whoever's admin. You have to enter your name, and then now then OP is giving you the power to modify the games while you're in the server. So for example, uh, if you're OP, you can go. In the
probably like 30 seconds for it to load up and then once it loads up then you go on your server and you type in the ip now there's going to be extra stuff that's going to be added once it's started and i will explain to you once it's there now uh, this is my load up screen just drag that right here okay there we go now it says now it says that um it gives you another ip but it's like a direct access to your ip now it doesn't matter what ip you it doesn't matter what ip you use but like you could use this ip this is your ip like forever like it, it will not change it will not change so you could use this ip to join your server it's not gonna it's not gonna make a difference you can use this ip as well but i recommend using this because you don't have to keep changing your ip every time you start up a server so yeah all right now let's do this we're on minecraft now we just hit multiplayer. See right here. Oh, what? all right. So before before that happens, before it happens, um, every time whenever you start up a new server, it's gonna change the icon for you. So, so like, I recommend just keeping this icon. It makes no, it makes it doesn't make a difference for what icon you have. But yeah, it says it right there. Also, I forgot to tell you, there, there's gonna be a timer for how long your server's gonna be up unless someone joins. So right now I'm not in the server, so it's gonna be counting down like it's gonna be counted down until um until it reaches zero. Once it reaches zero, it's gonna stop the server automatically, and I have to go through the whole process of waiting in a queue again. But in this case, that's that will not happen. We click, we press join. Let's log in. Log in. Okay. Now it's loading the terrain, and now we're in my server. And sorry for the lag, guys. Matter of fact, let me, let me fix this. Excuse me, guys. Whew. Don't worry. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make um videos about Minecraft anyway, so you won't see this lag at all. But I'm only doing this just for the purpose of the video. Now as you can see, I'm in my I'm in my own server. Um I could do game mode one, puts me in creative mode. I could do whatever. Uh yeah. I could do this. OP uh J Breeze A21. Whoever see it could not opt J Breeze A21 because he either he's not in the server or i can't do that from here right now he's not in the server so i can't do it from here um but yeah i mean oh. but yeah i mean that's it that's basically it about about the server so if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe i just said the same thing and i will make more videos in the future but till then i hope you guys enjoyed